Did y'all see that birdie? That's a birdie. Today is all about being aggressive. Today I'm going to take risks that I normally don't take. I'm going to go for driver more often than I normally do. And I'm going to try and go at tuck pins and be more aggressive no matter what happens if I'm short sided or not. Yeah, nice little experiment. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, first of all, welcome. Second of all, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below and click the bell notifications and select all to make sure you're notified of all the new content that I post. In today's course vlog, I'm going to be playing aggressive, going after pins, pulling out driver a lot more often, trying to cut around corners and cut around trees, and just see how it goes. My buddy Matt from Golf Sidekick recently posted a video dealing with this very thing, and I thought, you know what, maybe I'll give it a shot. I'll see what happens. At the end of the round, I tallied it all up and I shot 82. I had two birdies and the front nine was a little bit worse than the back nine. It was hitting right for him. I haven't really worked on my ball striking as of late because I've been working more on my short game. And as a result, my swing is a bit in flux. So my irons weren't quite as crisp or as on target as I would like. Yeah. You're up there. It's up there. Not my oh. best swing. As I said before, today is all about being aggressive. Aggressive means driver off the tee more often than I usually play. Normally, I'm probably hitting somewhere between six and eight drivers per round. Today, I think I pulled out driver at least 10 times. Uh, the results were a little bit mixed. I did hit a lot of fairways, that's for sure, so I'm happy about that. But the distance and the solidity of each drive, as well as the apex height of the drives, they were a little bit underwhelming. All right, we're on hole, what hole are we on? Number, I don't know. Oh, we're on number six, this is par three. About 143 yards, hitting an eight iron. <clears throat> All right, I just hit my tee shot. It was an eight iron from 145. I got to show you this. It's the best shot I've had in a long time. Check this out. That is what 18 inches looks like. Birdie. That was a birdie. A birdie two on a par three. That's awesome. That helps me out tremendously. That was a perfect shot. I almost hit the wrong club. I almost hit a nine iron. It was clearly an eight iron with the wind.
best day so far, but I'm having fun. Got my wife out here with me. Scenery's beautiful. The day is perfect. Uh, I'm not hitting too many fairways. The driver's a little bit erratic. I should probably put it away, but I'm having fun, so I'm not worried about it. Um, my irons are not as great, but I haven't played in three or four weeks either. I've been working on short game, so uh, that's been coming in handy today. I've used some lob shots, pitch shots, bump and runs. I can tell a difference for sure. Now I've got a 340-yard uh, par 4 coming up. Um, it's a little tight. Still going with the driver. I'm just going to have fun today. Thanks for watching the video guys. I'm sure you uh, you saw the course vlog and you've seen the range work and now it's time for the special announcement so here it is. 2019 has been the year of change for me and my family. We have moved to a new house. My daughter's in a new school. I work out of a new office. I started a YouTube channel. I was a smoker for 25 years. A quarter of a century. And I quit smoking at the beginning of the year. I'm now into month 9 or 10 or whatever month this is. I can't even remember but I quit smoking. That's a huge change. I loved smoking and now I don't smoke and I made that change and it's it's just huge. That's not the announcement though. Uh, a couple of months ago decided to make another change. I was a brick mason and in construction for years. I'm still in construction but now in a different capacity but I put my body through a lot of torture, a lot of pain, um, a lot of hard work, working like a moron you know, they say work smarter, not harder. Well, I kind of went the opposite direction. I was working harder, and I like to think I was working smarter too, but I still worked really hard. And so as a result, I've got a lot of pain. Uh, bones, joints, aches. It's getting to a point now where it could require like medication or some sort of surgery, and I just don't want to have to go through that. I would much rather keep everything natural. So I started changing my diet a little bit a few months back. Uh, I went pescatarian. Just chicken and fish, lots of vegetables, uh, fruits, things like that. And that took, and this is coming from a guy who's a meat eater. I love my grill. I love Sunday football. You know, I had my grill game down as far as cooking all kinds of meat and uh, chicken wings, and just a chicken fanatic, and, and, you know, steaks and burgers and you name it, and all kinds of stuff. Tons of recipes uh, that I'd worked on for years. And uh, I just kind of gave up red meat for over a month. I was just chicken and fish and vegetables. Decided to take it a step further. And my wife came up and she said, hey, let's, let's punch it. Let's go one more. And uh, I'm like, sure, why not? So we went straight vegetarian. We've been doing that now for a few weeks. Uh, I think this is a little bit over three weeks without a speck of meat, not one. And it has not been that difficult. And this is coming from a serious meat eater in the South, where we fry everything. And now, we have decided to take it one step further and go full vegan. Now, there's lots of reasons for this, but I would say that one of the main reasons for me uh, is to try and deal with some of the inflammation, some of the pain that I'm experiencing by changing my diet. There's lots of studies coming out now that talk about meat and dairy and how they can create inflammation in the body and they can hinder your recovery. Uh, I won't get into all that and I'm not trying to recruit anybody 
I just want to tell you what's going on with me personally. Anyway, that's that's my announcement is that this is one more change to add to the list of changes in 2019. And I got to tell you, whether we're talking about this or we're talking about something else, anytime that you're trying to make changes in your life, you can't focus on number one, the things that you're giving up. Don't focus on that. Focus on the things that you're gaining. Okay? Step, step number two, focus on the process. You have to think about the process if you want to bring about any kind of change. Think about the goal at the end and just work toward it. Take the steps necessary. Point B is over there. I'm at point A. Let's start taking steps forward toward point B. Uh, and then the third thing is embrace the change. Embrace the fact that you're going to wake up to a different world that you were in yesterday. You're going to wake up as a different person than you were yesterday. That's fun and exciting. You can be better than you were. And a lot of people would say, well, I like the person that I am. Hey, look, I like the person that I am too. But I think I can be even better. And I think a lot of us can be even better. And I really want to push it. And the first 40 years of my life was all about routine and habit and living in this shell and just accepting things as the way they were. And I'm hoping that the next 40 plus years of my life will be a whole lot more about moving forward making changes, being better, getting better, pushing, pushing, pushing. So if you've watched this long, I appreciate it. It means that you're interested in what's going on with me personally and how it can affect you. And I very much appreciate that kind of investment in me and my journey. I very much appreciate all the subscribers, all the comments. We're pushing in on the thousand. The short game video, The Lob, is coming. I just wanted to film my course vlog because, as I said, I haven't played in three or four weeks. Uh, so stay tuned for that. More short game work. I'll have putting coming up soon, and I'll have 100 yards and end coming up really soon. We'll be working on that. Uh, I'll probably also be doing a video about intent when it comes to ball striking. There's something I've been working on. I'm not quite there yet, but once I get it refined and I get my thoughts clear and presentable, I'll be making a video on intent as well. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Click the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. I'll see you next time.